So we just finished a sim on COSA where we looked at all five components, right? And one of those components was information and communication. Well, this sim is only on information and communication. And remember how we said within information and communication, the principles are internal, external, and quality, right? So what we're going to choose here for each numbered item is whether it's external or whether it's internal. If it's external, is it financial reporting or is it non-financial reporting? If it's internal, is it financial reporting that's internal or is it non-financial reporting that's internal? So we're really limited to just information and communication here. But within information and communication, what could they ask? How about number one, annual financial statements? First of all, is that external or internal? Annual financial statements are external. Well, management's responsible for putting it together, but why are financial statements prepared? For at least for a publicly traded company, they're prepared externally. And that's an example of what? Financial reporting or non-financial? Right, so we got external and financial. The answer to number one is external, financial. Number two, customer satisfaction surveys prepared as a means of determining which products to discontinue. Well, it is non-financial, but reports indicating customer satisfaction are example of internal. We're not releasing those reports. Those customer satisfaction surveys, they're not going anywhere outside the company. They're staying here. So they're internal. Make yourself a note there. Internal means that the report is not being released outside the company. It's only going to parties within. That's a good note to take on internal communication. It stays within the company. And reports indicating customer satisfaction will be a good example of that. Number three, reports to the board of directors regarding the security controls over assets, like the monitoring reports. Internal, non-financial reports. They're not going outside the company, so they're internal, and they're not financial reports. They're reports regarding which controls are working, which controls are not working, and to what extent. Number four, the sales budget for next year. Internal. It's financial, yes, internal financial for the sales budget. Quarterly earnings releases and interim financial statements. Very good, external financial. Number six, reports containing the calculations and compliance with bank covenants. That's internal, but it is financial reporting. Calculations regarding bank covenants. What's a bank covenant?
That's right. Something the bank is requiring you to do. So if you want to have a loan with this bank, the bank's requiring you to maintain cash reserves of a certain dollar amount and maybe maintaining a current ratio of two to one. What does that mean? Yes, current ratio refers to your current assets and your current liabilities. So if you've got to maintain a current ratio of at least two to one as a bank covenant, that means you've got to calculate your working capital, your current assets minus current liabilities, which makes this a financial report. And you want to know whether or not you're in compliance with this bank covenant because you better know before the bank knows. Because if you're not in compliance with this bank covenant, the bank might call the whole loan due and payable immediately, which could knock you right out of business. Because you don't have the money to pay the whole loan. You thought you were doing fine paying the monthly payment. But that's only if you're in compliance with the bank covenant. The minute you're not in compliance with the bank covenant, they can call the whole loan due. So number six, a report containing the calculation and compliance with the bank covenant is an internal report, but it is financial. So internal financial. Seven, the Watson Corp is required by regulators and contracting parties to prepare a report every six months regarding its sustainability. External, non-financial. Excellent. Because the regulators are asking for this report. They're required to file it with the regulator every six months. That's an external report. That report is going outside the company, but it's non-financial. It's going to be full of facts. It's not going to have financial statement figures on it. At least it doesn't say that it is. Number eight. Hudson Oil Company reports to the state of New York annually regarding its environmental impact. Beautiful. External, non-financial. Number nine, Allentown Steel Inc. can generate a report on demand that allows its senior management to monitor in real time changes in metal production. Internal, non-financial. Changes in production numbers. That's not a financial report. How much are we producing? How many tons of steel are we producing? That's not a financial report. That's an internal production report. So internal, non-financial. 10, Mega Conglomerate Inc. requires each division to prepare a monthly report regarding costs and expenses by product line. Internal. Financial report, right, internal financial report because it's costs and expenses. 11, in February of each year, Reynolds Corp. is required to provide a report to the state government regarding the effectiveness of their internal controls. External, it's going to the state. Non-financial, very good. 12, a public accounting firm's report on billable hours and staff utilization prepared for the senior partner is an example of Internal, non-financial, billable hours and staff utilization. That's not really a financial report. That's a non-financial report. That has more to do with usage, usage of labor, usage of staff. It's not really costs and expenses. It's usage. Hey, it's Darius for more CPA exam BEC videos on corporate governance Head to cpaexamtutoring.com. If you need to pass BEC, what you want is to get my BEC bundle package, all my awesome easy-to-follow BEC videos in five separate sections. You can get them for a week. You can get them for 30 days. Buy only the sections you need. So if you just want corporate governance, then you want section one of BEC. But if you want my simulations 
on BEC. Then you want section four, actually section five of the BEC bundle. You could get all the sections or just get one at a time. And if you go to the website and contact me directly through the website, I'll send you a promo code. So go to cpaexamtutoring.com.